This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Sacred 2. In the last episode, we did side quests and kind of ran around like a chicken with our head cut off. Let's continue doing that as we, uh, we've entered Twain Brook and, uh, well, level ourselves up, get some more items, and then, uh, and then do the plot eventually. Hopefully we'll get some today. All right. What do you got, dude? Timok the Innkeeper. Destroy the undead creature that once was my wife. Take my wife, please. Would you be willing to help a tortured soul? Or rather, two tortured souls? I know it must sound strange, but believe me, I am speaking the truth. My poor wife passed away two winters ago. It was a terrible loss for me, and I still miss her very much. But sometimes death isn't the worst fate that might befall you. Recently, I've been hearing rumors that an undead creature is haunting the graveyard. At first, I didn't pay any attention to those rumors, but one day when I went to the cemetery to visit my wife's grave, I found it had been opened and desecrated. Gross. Uh, see, a while later, I saw her, or what's left of her anyway. She recognized me, then approached and gestured to me to end her miserable existence. I was too weak. I couldn't do it. Please, could you go to the cemetery and destroy her lifeless corpse? End her pain. Save a soul. I'm a poor man, but I'll give you all the gold I own. Will you help me? I am begging you. In my name and in the name of my poor wife's soul, Depend I'll do it health. for the money. For the nookie? No, no, no. Not, not undead nookie. No, 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 sir. All right. Where do we have to go for that? Well, we had to go some... Uh, go north, I guess. Alright. Let's do it. Let's kill some undead souls, and then eventually... Uh, someday I'll I'll get on the plot. I'm still trying to decide how I want to uh, run through the rest of this game, because I realize at some point, because, you know, the game basically Sometimes is... I wish I um, settle down in a small place like this one. Do you, Seraphim? Would you enjoy that? Adventurers don't usually take, usually don't settle down until they're dead or they're really old. One of the two. Resistance is futile. I am the Seraphim. I am the Metatron. Oh man. All right. So we should be finding this. Do you have more gravestones to read, or let's see? Guardian of Souls. Death is nothing to us since we are death. Uh, has not come, and when death has come, we are not. Epicurus. 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 No, nothing. Oh, okay. What does that say? A memorial. If I were you, I'd rather be me. Oh, we got more comical, comical uh, uh, um, gravestones. Maybe. He hit me for how much? That's that sounds like a D and D reference or something like that. It probably is. I wouldn't be surprised. Or some or some tabletop game. It doesn't have to be. I mean, D and D isn't the only game in town. It's just that's the one I'm more familiar with. I don't even know if it's one of the first games to do that. Probably not. Tabletop games, probably not. I wonder what this doll could tell me if it was able to speak. Well, that'd freak me out if it could speak. Let's see, spring silent morning. Oh, I got perfect. Vase. This vase, it's perfect. It's just for me. Whoa! I didn't mean to walk down in there. All right. Apparently that was a that was a door or something like that. All right, let's kill some undead. I'm feeling frisky. And only, only the undead, can, only the killing of undead can uh, free that hunger. Yeah, they give decent experience, apparently. I bet they give great helmet. Sarcophagus escape inspect is nearby. Okay. It said there's, yeah, it's probably farther in. I bet it just said there was one nearby, so I didn't know what it was talking about. Is there any? There's not really a mission that told me to go down here, right? So I'm basically just doing this because I want to just finish off the dead for some reason. I'm just, I'm just feeling it. I'm just like, eh, let's just take care of the dead. I just want to. All right, what's this? Say? Magnificent sarcophagus of the De Delphici family. Okay. So he just robbed someone's uh, ancestral gravestone or ancestral like plot of land. Hey, I'm all for that. I'm a hero. Got a. Gotta earn the hero. Uh, gotta pay the hero tax if you want a hero in your bird. But nothing. Me pressing the A button a bunch of times can't fix. All right, got some potion. One day maybe I'll actually use my potions, or actually upgrade my equipment, or or maximize it or whatever. That's the problem I have with. Oh, did someone attack me? Oh, I didn't even see him. I mentioned this before, this is one of the main issues I have with hack and slash is that I swear half the time is me dealing with item inventory control than, uh, than playing the game, you know? I mean, I guess there's some fun in that, and there is to a point, but I don't know, I don't want to spend, I don't want to spend half my time just going through my item inventory just to clean it out, you know? 
Because I'm one of those people that, like, I wouldn't say has to grab everything, but I don't know. I have to at least interact with a lot of things before I'm finished with the place for a thing, so. Uh oh. Better heal. All right. I need Almost forgot to do that. I'm going pretty deep. That's highlighted, but you can't get to it, I've noticed. It's like, why is that stuff highlighted? Uh oh, I, have, I was about to say, I hope I didn't glitch myself by accidentally going somewhere I wasn't supposed to. Maybe that's why I don't play a lot of these, uh, uh, Rabbit. Rabdil. Raddildir. Let's see, R A D. Rad Ilder. Delfici, Dishonor of... Ah, dang it, took me forever to freaking read it. Now it's... Now I'm done for! But yeah, maybe that's why I don't play a lot of these games as much as I used to, just because I'd rather... I'd rather just have all the inventory available so I don't have to... So I can just mess with it whenever I want to, or... Um, or, like, it just gives me gold instead, or scrap, and I can just pay for everything I want. Ooh, leveled up. I'll do with that in a second. Do we... Oh, is that the lady? Because it's not highlighted anymore, right? Hmm. Uh, Pebble discovered that hiding uh, behind wet mattresses would not prevent the dragon form burning her to a crisp. A lot of these have got to be tabletop references. There's no way that it's not. Knuckles, gobbed for the last time when his membership in the Order of Bunny Jumpers was voided due to his love of pink spandex. What? A lot of these are going to be also internal references to whoever added the... Was this game like crowdfunded or something like that? Or or did this just makers of the game just really fo uh, like follow their, their... See, never hiccup while sword swallowing. Oh boy. I didn't even want to think about that nonsense. Here lies Frosty, still whining about spelling. Frosty? Did Frosty the Snowman whine about spelling? I don't recall that. I mean, it could be any other thing that mentions Frosty. It didn't say Frosty the Snowman, it just said Frosty, so... Poor... Halenthal's spool... Spool failure? Imagine that. Spool... It said... It didn't say spell, it said spool. Okay. Uh, Memorial. Take no thought of who is right or wrong or who is better than... Than. Be not for or against Bruce Lee. Oh, I'm not familiar with that line. Thing is, it's not like I've... I actively read all biographies about Bruce Lee, but... Okay, that's the way out. Did we finish that quest? I guess we did. I guess we just killed killed the lady. Uh, there's a few more quests. We might just take care of those while we... Before, because we can just teleport back to that that spot as long as we don't activate the uh, monolith somewhere else. Now yeah, let's just do that. All right. Okay. All right, let's fall. let's go into the mist. Away we go into the fog of war. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's uh the essence or whatever they call. Sorry, I took a, I took a, fa a few days off since my last recording, and I've forgotten. Like, wasn't it called like the energy or some some dumb name like that, or some or some boring name like that? I guess. I, I, can't, I can't really say dumb, maybe just boring or uninteresting or for fancy genre, you know? It's called... <laughs> too much pink energy is bad for you. Yeah. Let's just keep... I'd have to go... Oh, there's the bridge, okay. Yeah, I almost kind of wish I had magic so I could just, like, just mass kill these things at once, you know? Let's go, alright, you're done, you're done. Yeah, you guys are everywhere. Get off me! Get off me, you... You spuds, spuds McKenzie over here. Kobolds. You hate him, don't you, Beers? Alright. Good. I guess I could have just ran past him. It's not like I've hit that, that dangerous area where everything I fight is like ridiculously more powerful. Well, okay, this might cause some trouble. If you have like five things attacking you, then yeah, it's gonna cause some issues. I heal myself just in case. I didn't say that there was like a quest around this area somewhere. I think so. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder how how long enemies chase after you until you're done. Okay. Oh yeah, we were supposed to go here and fight. Just ooh, well, um, the same guys. But I guess I'm gonna have to fight someone at some point. Otherwise, I'm gonna get my ram shackles. 
Otherwise, I'll just get uh, um, surrounded and then I'll just get taken out. Luckily, they can't do a ton of damage to me. Oh, Maybe because oh, I've got a decent. I'm so afraid. <laughs> well, it depends on which ver which which version of kobolds you uh, you're fighting, my dear. Um, that's true. Usually, kobolds are the next to god ones are usually the base creature of any tabletop fantasy setting. Usually, isn't the isn't the mythol mythology behind like the kobolds and goblins like a lot more deadly and dangerous? Yeah, for some because of the stats in an in-game thing, they be the story behind them has become made them a lot more wussy or or you know not as dangerous or whatever you want to use. I don't know. I'll admit it's been forever since I've studied up the original original ideas for like kobolds and fancy creatures like that. Like where did someone come up with the idea of them and all that? All right, there's gotta be a uh, like a thing I can use to open a gate or something, right? Um. Oh, okay, here we go. It's like, how do we get inside? All right, let's let's take out these brigands. They don't seem too powerful. I kill them with like one or two shots. So hopefully this one isn't glitched and like, like I can actually kill everyone in this place. Unlike that, uh, what was that that one quest? The one where I had to get like the like yellow leaves or something like that. Couldn't finish it because the game glitch. I mean, not that I need to. It's not like as long as the. I mean, in the end, as long as the main plot quest can be finished, I guess it, I don't mind that much. Mainly because uh, these types of games, I'm not as the best in the ones that have like. Does not tolerate resistance. <laughs> resistance does not be tolerated. Resistance is futile. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, I guess, I don't know, I guess it depends on the RPG, like, games like these, like these hack and slash, I can only be invested so much, uh, because usually they give you, I wouldn't say the bare minimum, because there are, like, I mean, if you read Diablo War, there's quite a bit there, if you really think about it, but, I don't know, there's just something about having to read all the lore, then, I don't know, it's, it's a tough decision, because you want the lore to be there, and obviously you can't have the game exposition the crap out of you to tell you the history of the land and all this other stuff but but you also don't want to have to like spend hours and hours reading fa uh, text about about the world I mean I guess you could you have the option it's just, I don't know I don't even know where I was really going with that statement I think it was just something there's got to be a way to like invest me in the world enough without needing to have these like Skyrim does or Elder Scrolls series does a lot where like a lot of the uh um, a lot of the history and stuff is in books, and they have like whole novel. Like I, I, I've heard there's even like whole novels of stuff in that game that you could read if you really want to sit down and read them. Like man, put a lot of effort into that, aren't you? I mean, I guess I guess I'm glad they did. Picked up his head. We got his. <laughs> you got his eye, but I got his head. Um, okay, so we're done with that. All right, do we want to go back down there for now? All right, let's activate that one so that way it's just on my radar. So that way I can just go straight to it. Right, I'm just going to avoid all of you because I can run past you. And I think your dot or your tra pathfinding when it comes to chase chasing me wears out after a while, I think. That would be kind of annoying if you had to fight every single thing you ran across. I mean, as much as I was a fan, I was I, I didn't mind turn, uh, random battles in the RPGs back in the day. You know, the old JRPGs. I still got annoyed by it every once in a while. You know, like every once in a while, I'd be like, "All right, come on, guys, I'm uh, I'm kind of a I'm kind of done with this. You know, I want to get to the next town or whatever." I'm that's why I'm kind of glad that this random encounters are kind of are kind of uh, not a thing anymore. I mean, there's some games that still have it, and I'm not against them having it. It's just, I'm glad it's not a common thing. I mean, it was just a, it was basically just a way to pad out the, uh, the game when you think about it. A lot of old games did that. Alright, what? Well, I'm being attacked, so I can't really look at it. Yeah, I don't like the fact that this game doesn't have a pause function at all. I mean, you can go into the menu. Okay, we are supposed to defeat undead here for some reason. It's part of a mission. But when you take a oh when you take a break off, like from from any type of game, you you sometimes forget small details because you're like, what was I doing again? Okay, we were apparently supposed to 
take out some undead people here, so. You'll have to forgive me if you watch this episode, like, back to back, and then you're like, why didn't you remember that? I'm like, well, because I didn't care to. No, I just had, I did play this, like, right after the previous episode, so. But like I said, it's not like there's... All right, what are you doing? Oh, uh, you saved me. Here, take this. It makes weapons burn. All you need to do is find an able blacksmith. Now leave, or else I'll kill you. Wait, what? You may okay. On my help. Wait. Oh, we were. Oh, that's right. We were trying to find a goblin, or kobold, or something like that. Okay. So we saved him, and he's like, "Here, we, I can do you do this." I bet the little traitor of, of a kobold will try to stab me in the back. Just watch. Does did did he try to stab me in the back? Oh, she just. Oh no, he's gone. So maybe she just. Oh no, is. Oh, now he did. Okay. So we could have just ran away, but. No, let's just finish him off, because once a traitor, always a traitor. So, there you go. Now he's dead. Now he is of the dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the Seraphim knew he was going to attack. She knew. I guess we could have left, and it wouldn't have changed the quest line at all, so. Alright, now let's go over here. Okay. What? Chieftain? Okay, I highlighted it, so I need to go... Straight. I can run through this right. Yep. yep, maybe. It's hard to tell in this game like what I can run through sometimes. It's like, can I actually go through here or no? Okay, I need to go this way. Follow that arrow, but unfortunately, you know, sometimes when you follow arrows, sometimes I get sidetracked and like I'll I'll be paying attention to the destination like on the on the mini map there so much that I won't even pay attention to like what's in front of me. So it's like. You know, I not realize there's a mountain in, the bed, in my way or whatever. So I'll just keep following the arrow in the corner. Should be. Didn't see there should be a bridge around here somewhere. Okay, this way. Then we can teleport back. I'd say there's a few. Now we are the pack. Man, there's a few of them. Oh yeah, we'll skip that one because we can't finish that one. That yellow field or whatever it is. I'll try to find a way to maybe... I might... You know what I might do is maybe off-screen, maybe I'll, uh, when I have free time, maybe I'll just do all the, uh, the side quests like off-screen so I can get the levels and stuff like that and then just show the... and just show the plot or plot mission on-screen maybe. That might be a way to, like, get the game experience in there. But just and just say what I did off screen, like oh I finished. You seem to be close to my destination. Great. Um, that way you just see me get the. Oh we had to. Oh that's right we had to kill like 40 kobolds. But that way you get the gameplay experience, but you don't have to watch me like doing just running around for like forever. Um, like basically do a nonsense quest, a fetch quest mission and all this other stuff. Okay, well we killed a couple of kobolds. Where's the others? Okay, we need to kill quite a few of you, so hopefully I guess yeah, every time now I have a count, I'm always afraid I'm gonna like miss some kobolds and like not get the quest completion and be have to do all that work for like basically nothing. Because they're only giving me like two experience, so it's not like it's not, not like I'm gaining super consequences. It's not like I'm gaining big mega levels here. I gain big mega levels! You want it? You got it! Many levels for you! Well, at least the game's kind of generally pointing at me in the direction of where the creatures are, so I can kind of figure it out. I guess he went straight. A straight and narrow. To the kobold's defeat. Yeah, and a lot of, uh... In a lot of fantasy settings, kobolds are shown to be like the, uh, at least in some variations of them, they've been tr shown to be the trap maker of a race instead, instead of just being, you know, I think they used to be a type of like dog-like race, or at least in D&D standards were, and then they changed to dragon kin to try and make them cooler, and then they turned into like dragon kin and trap makers so they could be a bit more dangerous so you don't like don't throw them out and attack adventures. You have them, like, set traps and all that other stuff. And depending on which, uh, 
tabletop game you play, traps are pretty nasty. Everywhere yeah. around. Right. <laughs> well, at least the Seraphim is not a. You can tell say she's not humble, because she. Although it was, it's not bragging if it's true or something. Is that is that the wording? Okay, so we need to go. Okay, it's saying it's in. A, okay, it's this way. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot what I said, but yeah, it's like it's not bright enough to actually back it up or whatever. Can these doors be open or anything? Oh, huh. I'm probably missing quite a few of this stuff, things. Yeah, too bad I can't just jump over. Can I get up? Oh, come on. I wish, man, I wish there was a jump button in this game. Oh, well. Just so I could skip to the, uh, so I could actually get over there and get to the next area. And you're like, hey, it's just right over there. Wouldn't take me very long. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump. And I'll just go back the way I came and hopefully the auto, okay, dude, just point me in the direction and don't, don't keep swapping me out. Like when I was getting to the point, the game was swapping me to the next current objective, so it wouldn't lock on one. It just, it just be like, oh, you want this one? Well, maybe I want this one. I don't, I don't know. I'm just going by what the game auto tells me. Okay, you have to go down there. So we'll have to go on the other side here. Man, these kobolds are just all over the place. It's almost like they have an ecosystem. The so they're they're not all they're not all bunched up together. Although I wish they were. Please die by my blade, please. I'd ever be so kind. I'll I'll put a good word with uh, with the angels for you. Just tell them you died by my hand quite easily, and I'll give you a chance for re rebirth or or whatever the society does with their souls after they've died. Oh god, now I'm already full. Ugh. It's another thing that's gonna bug me. It's filling up quickly, and they're like, now what do I do? All right, looks like I might have. Looks like there's only a couple of dudes left, so I must have found them all. Lucky me. Oh, come on. Come on. I wonder if there's a way to improve your your item capacity or not. I haven't seen anything, but... So we already did. Can we just go back now? Although, is that considered a... The... Oh, okay. We just have to go over here. Okay. So we killed enough. Now we just have to find the chieftain. Gotcha. All right. Now these kobold are nothing compared to the might of the Seraphim. I might be able to just skip like a lot of quests after a while because if, if I'm like getting hardly any experience for killing these guys, I probably easily afford to skip a lot of stuff and uh, just get to the the main uh, plot or whatever. All right, all right. We'll figure out a way to handle it, Seraphim. But will the Seraphim be able to handle more stuff? What about the Kobold Chieftain? And will we ever get back to the story? Find out next time in the next episode of Sacred 2. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.